Okay, good evening, everyone. Dr. Freedom here. Time for some Doctor Who news. Uh, uh, not much going on as far as the filming news goes, other than the fact we've been hearing about this possible setup going on in Bristol. i got to go double-check that. Hopefully, we'll get some picks up tomorrow for that. Um, okay, I made a boner on the last video about uh, Hooverville. It turns out, no, Matt Smith and Peter Capaldi are not appearing at that particular function. I misread that line uh, about Dan Starkey, who appeared alongside and then he will appear at the convention. So I put a little annotation on there, and I also made sure to put it in the comment box. Hey, these things happen when you're up late at night, and you're you know sometimes you get a little bit of a hurry, and you get ahead of yourself, and you know you see that, and you get a little excited, and then boom, there you go. But okay, let's get into the day's news because there's some very very interesting developments as far as the Doctor Who festival goes. So let's take a look at that, shall we? Okay, let's bring that up right now. Okay, over on Peter Capaldi News, Doctor Who Fest Festival, guests and photo ops available on f for Friday. Now, what they mean is you're going to be ordering them on Friday, okay? Okay, keep checking the Doctor Who official Facebook page, um, and there's a link to it, and you can sign up to our newsletter you know, via the festival website, which is here, for any more announcement news. So if you want to keep on top of that festival, here you go. Um, and, of course, here's some, you know, the poster for it and whatnot. Remember, that's the 13th and 15th of November at the London Excel. But, okay, more exciting guest news is heading our way on Friday the 4th of September for the UK Doctor Who Festival, adding some very special guests to the official 2015 lineup. Now, along with this news, there is an announcement of more special features and more photo opportunities with the newly announced guests on general sale at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. That's right, 10 a.m., and you know it's going to happen. That site's going to crash. Whatever phone numbers they got here are going to go bug screwy, and you're not going to be able to. Well, <laughs> all I can say is give it a shot. You never know. Okay, but to be in with a chance to get a photo op with your favorite Who star, you can follow the link to the Doctor Who Festival website at 10 a.m. on Friday morning, or you can call the box office here at this number in the UK. And remember, that call is going to cost you 10p per minute plus network extras. Now, current ticket holders will receive an email containing details. Tickets are available on a first-come, first-served basis. Whew, we know how well that works out, don't we? Now, photo opportunities are only valid with a general admission slash or, or TARDIS slash TARDIS ticket. Now, guests already confirmed for this massive festival happening over the weekend of the 13th and the 15th of November at the Excel in London are Peter Capaldi, and yes, he is going to be there. Our head of his own. Current Doctor Who showrunner Steve Moffat, uh, Michelle Gomez, who played the Master, or is playing Missy, a.k.a. the Master, and unit scientist Osgood. Now, the Doctor Who Festival is going to be packed with exciting opportunities for fans of the show, and these include chances to see a display of costumes, props, and visit the production village and participate in the fan challenge and learn a few acting techniques for the filming of Doctor Who. Now, those who go to the event will also be able to meet the cast and writers as well as get their hands on the latest Doctor Who merchandise. And remember, you keep up with more news surrounding the festival on Twitter at this, at Doctor Who Fest, and join in the chat at the you know, hashtag Doctor Who Festival. And, of course, don't forget the Doctor Who official Facebook page, which is here. And also keep in mind up here, once again, is the link for DoctorWhoFestival.com. Okay, so a lot of interesting stuff going on revolving around the, you know, the festival. Okay, next up over on the, uh, sorry, over on Daily Record, watch Scott's Doctor Who producer Steve Moffat, you know, thoughts on replacing Peter Capaldi and acting inside a Dalek. Now, a lot of people don't remember, I remember he did play a Dalek in Curse of the Fatal Death. Also, there's a little video clip here, about three minutes long. Okay, now he told uh, Bev Lyons over on the Daily Record that he had just finished off the script for the Christmas special, and that's when this interview was done. Okay, now here we go. He has now, and this is a quote. Stephen Moffat says he has no plans to replace Peter Capaldi as the doctor. So all you guys are jumping up and down going, there's going to be a regeneration at the end of series nine. Get us that goodbye. He said, quote, we've not got our eye on other doctors. I'm sure Peter is going to be doctor who forever. We simply are not looking and it doesn't stop people applying. Now, of course, uh, Stephen and his team just finished the script for the Christmas edition and asked if there was any Doctor Who secret he could give away. And he replied, quote, that box is bigger on the inside. Hopefully everyone will look forward to all of it. The monsters, the, the adventures of an awful lot of running of an, and explosions. Now, Stephen remains enthusiastic as ever about Doctor Who. And he said, quote, if, we're, if it were difficult to come up with ideas for Doctor Who, it's time to stop doing it. Now, if you have the whole universe to blow up, so I've not run out yet. 
Now, Steven also claims he never wants to be seen on screen again, although he was once a Dalek on a special episode for Comic Relief. He goes, I'm a terrible actor. You don't want to see me on that screen. I'm neither good at acting nor or beautiful. I once played a Dalek in a Comic Relief sketch I wrote. I hated it. I don't want to be on the screen. I don't like it. Now, if I think he is referring to Curse of the Fatal Death, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> okay. Now, this is very interesting. Over on Bucks Free Press, Colin Baker and Joe Brand received Bucks New University uh, Honorary Awards. So, former actor, or well, former Doctor Who star and BFP columnist, because he's still acting a little bit here and there. Colin Baker is among a host of stars to be given an honorary award at the Bucks New University this week. Now, the television favorite who live, lives near High Wycombe, I think I got it right, it said he was honored to be awarded an honorary doctorate in recognition for his international standing, local profile, and links to the university's course profile. And he has goes on to comment a bit about here. So, and they have a little bit more down here. So if you want to read this one, I'm going to have the link for you as usual down below in the description box. And I think it, you know, he looks a little bit tickled and it, I, you know, it kind of tickles me pick a little bit too, that, you know, the doctor is getting an honorary doctorate. Okay. Moving on. Cyberman land in Lowboro to cause some mayhem. That's right. The great central R railway is set to host its first ever science fiction event, which will see Daleks, stormtroopers and Cybermen descend into his, uh, onto the historic site for a full weekend of activities. Now, Cybermen landed in Lowborough Town Center to launch the town's first science fiction weekend. Great Central Railway is set to host its first ever science fiction event, which will see Daleks, Stormtroopers, and Cybermen descend on the historic site for a full weekend of activities. Now, Lewis Kavner, who works at the fish stall at the Lowborough Market, said he's come up with a novel concept with the help of the management at GCR. Now, he said the event will be there. Now, they said the event will be held on Saturday, September 12th to Sunday, September 13th, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now, last weekend, the Cybermen were out in town center to dump out some, some, drum up some support and cause a bit of mischief while they were there. And it, it goes more into the here. So if you're in that area and you're interested, tickets are 15 pounds with a family ticket. And that's two adults and up to three children at 35 pounds. So, so 15 pound ticket. And if you want the family, boom, there you go. So it sounds like it's going to be a fun time. Uh, you know, go check it out if you're in that area. I'm nowhere near that area, so but I think I'd pass it on to you guys. Okay, a little bit about Chris Eccleston. He's in, in Ten Pieces Secondary. Uh, BBC Music have announced the presenters for its brand new Ten Pieces Secondary film, which will launch for schools and cinemas across the UK in, in October. Now, the commission and produced by BBC Learning and, del and delivered in conjunction with the BBC Performing Groups, the project is designed to introduce a generation of children to classical music and has been extended to explore second sorry ex extended to secondary schools with a new selection of music for students and teachers to explore. Now, Chris Eccleston, the ninth doctor, will be introducing the Ride of the Valkyries from Die Wokia. I think it's D. Wokia, I can't remember. By Wagner and the actor said, quote, I'm delighted to be involved and to be writing with Wagner and his Valkyries is very thrilling. Whew. So there's a little trailer right here if you want to go check this out. Okay, now the film is designed to act as a gateway to orchestral music, taking young viewers on a journey and making them hungry to explore and experience classical music through the eyes and ears, new eyes and ears. Now, nationwide screenings of the film will take place during the week of the 5th of October. Okay, so a little more, more on Eccleston. Uh, he said, quote, I've never watched Doctor Who as a kid. And, well, hey, oh, sorry, I skipped a little bit farther down. I never watched Doctor Who even when I was a child, and I never watched myself as Doctor Who. So he was not a viewer even when he was the ninth Doctor. That's not unusual. A lot of actors don't like to watch themselves on TV. And basically he goes, I don't think it's important. that I, and We've already heard this particular quote. He goes, I'm still there. I was in David Tennant. I was in Matt Smith. I was in Peter Capaldi. I am always there in spirit. So that was from Radio 4's Loose Sends, you know, interview back in July. But if you want to read a little bit more about what he said here, you know, there, it's not really that much other than that quote, but I figured I'd throw it up for you, especially for you folks who do miss the ninth doctor. I think if it wasn't for him, the show wouldn't have got past, uh, what do you call it? Boom down, I don't think, but. Or maybe even End of the World. Oh, man. No, well, no, End of the World was good. I'm thinking of that one with the Slovene. Oh, crap. Aliens in London. Oh, man. Mind if I, yeah, you know, how many other actors, you know, just to state my point, how many other actors do you think could have pulled off? Do you, would you mind not farting while I try to save the world? 
Okay. <laughs> Here's some more theories on how River Song's coming back. The name of the article, of course, is Does This Explain How River Song is Returning to Doctor Who? Now, with this announcement, of course, you know, the theories are flying faster than freaking Mach 5 jets. It's gone like crazy lately about, you know, is she going to be, you know, as they say, or is she going to still be a data ghost? Is it going to be a younger version of River? Is it going to be, you know, blah, blah, blah? Is it going to be an evil copy of her made by the Suntarns? We don't know. So that's what we have to work with. And all right. Lastly, for today, Doctor Who, how does the series structure affect, you know, story? And he goes with it. Now, here's the thing with another series break rumored for Doctor in 2016, this guy mulls over how the show's storytelling is affected by the series structure. And I threw this up here in case you want to read this. It's basically going into, you know, why you call it how they've you know done arcs and whatnot and you know how they've carried the the, you know, the story over the last couple of years and whatnot and it was an interesting piece and i'm gonna leave it here for you to read for yourself okay well that's all i had for today guys so keep in mind we have not heard a confirmation or a denial from the beeb regarding the fact that there's going to be a truncated season in 2016 for series 10 or there's even guys running around going now, there's not going to be a series at all. Now, why the hell would that happen? We don't have a showrunner leaving. We don't have Peter Capaldi leaving. Sure, there's a possibility that Jenna Coleman as Clara is leaving, but why would they suddenly go on hiatus, especially when Series 8 was one of their highest-selling series? Not to mention it beat Series 7 in the ratings. You know, if you take a break now with the momentum going full on, especially if Series 9 does well, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. But then again, we have to also consider there could be budgetary issues. As we all know, that license fee thing's going around again, and we got to keep our eye on that as well because that is going to significantly affect the BBC's budget. But all I can say is this. As I've told you before on that, don't believe unless you hear it from the Beeb. So don't believe all the rumors from the guy going, I talked to the janitor the other day over at the BBC, and he picked up a memo that had fallen on the floor in the bathroom, and it said something about truncated. Oh, uh, well. All I can say is keep an open mind. Don't panic. Series 9 hasn't even aired yet, and it soon will. Keep your, uh, keep your thoughts on that. Okay, until tomorrow, guys, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm, have a good one. I'm out of here. It's Friday, baby. Yeah.